The Tyrannosaurus Rex, one of the most famous and fearsome dinosaurs ever. But was it really the top predator or did it also scavenge for its food? Today we explore the life of the T-Rex to find out. Tyrannosaurus rex, often called T-Rex, lived about 68 to 66 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period in what is now North America. Its fossil remains have been found in places like Montana, South Dakota, and Wyoming, showing it lived in a large area. Its discovery in 1902 by Barnum Brown, an American paleontologist, caused a lot of excitement and interest. Brown's find, a partial skeleton, is just the beginning of our fascination with this amazing creature. T-Rex quickly became a symbol of prehistoric power and mystery. And as the late, great John Hammond said, that they'll capture the imagination of the entire planet. This fascination grew even more with the release of Jurassic Park, where the T-Rex was one of the main dinosaurs, becoming a household name. Dr. Grant, my dear Dr. Sutton, welcome to Jurassic Park. In Jurassic Park, the T-Rex was shown as a terrifying predator. While the movie got many things right, the real T-Rex had even more powerful jaws, filled with 50 to 60 banana-sized teeth, each as thick as railroad spikes, which could crush your bone easily. And each tooth was serrated, perfect for cutting through flesh. But there's more to T-Rex than just its size and teeth. Its muscular build, keen senses, and smart brain all played key roles in its survival. It had a strong and muscular neck and body, showing it could deliver powerful bites. The idea that T-Rex was a predator is supported by several of its physical features. Its legs suggest that it wasn't very fast, but its prey was even slower. A cool thing is that they had special pads on the bottom of their feet, like modern day tigers, that made them absolutely silent until they got right up next to you. So you would probably be dead before you even knew it was there. Its hip structure shows that when it found its prey, it was very agile and could turn very quickly, getting behind any defenses its prey had. This agility was important for catching prey in a thickly wooded environment. But they don't know exactly where they are. Time to spring the trap. One T-Rex rushes out. T-Rex is waiting in ambush. In Jurassic Park, the T-Rex was shown as a fast and powerful hunter. In reality, its keen sense of smell, similar to modern vultures, would have helped it find prey from far away. The olfactory bulbs in its brain were large, showing that it had a highly developed sense of smell. Olfactory bulbs are the part of the brain that processes smells, which is crucial for finding prey in carcasses. And those forward-facing eyes? They gave T-Rex excellent depth perception, important for a predator to accurately judge distances and time its attacks. The binocular vision also allowed T-Rex to focus well on its prey, improving its hunting skills. Fossil evidence also supports the idea that T-Rex is a predator. Bite marks on herbivore bones like Triceratops and Ammonosaurus match the shape and size of T-Rex teeth. These bite marks are often found in places where a live predator would attack, such as the neck and rear end. This suggests that T-Rex aimed for important areas on its prey. 
One famous example is a Triceratops pelvis, the hip bone, with a healed T-Rex bite mark, showing that the Triceratops survived the attack. This suggests that T-Rex actively hunted and attacked living prey, and its victims sometimes managed to escape and heal, leaving evidence of the encounter. In addition, some T-Rex teeth show signs of wear and breakage, which match the stress of attacking large, struggling prey. This evidence indicates that T-Rex often engaged in violent encounters, breaking and replacing its teeth throughout its life. This video is proudly sponsored by Club Dynamite, the ultimate community for dinosaur-loving kids and teens. As a member, you'll get exclusive content, fun discussions, and cool events that bring the prehistoric world to life. Whether you want to be a paleontologist or just think dinosaurs are awesome, Club Dynamite has something for you. Sign up for a trial membership today to test drive Club Dynamite and get over $800 in free gifts just for saying maybe. Visit the link in the description to learn more and start your adventure today. But what if T-Rex is more of a scavenger than a predator? Some scientists think that its strong sense of smell is more like modern scavengers such as vultures and hyenas. These animals use their sense of smell to find carcasses, and T-Rex might have done the same. Its large nasal cavities support this idea, suggesting a keen ability to detect the smell of decaying flesh from far away. Also, T-Rex's large size and slower speed compared to smaller predators might have made it better suited for scavenging. It could use its size to scare away other predators and take over their kills. This strategy would have been efficient, allowing T-Rex to save energy while getting a meal. Furthermore, T-Rex teeth have been found stuck in the bones of already dead dinosaurs, and these wounds haven't been healed. This suggests that it was not above scavenging for a meal. Some scientists believe that T-Rex might have been an opportunistic feeder, using both hunting and scavenging to get as much food as possible. This mixed strategy would have helped it survive in a tough environment. Studies have shown that all predators hunt and scavenge at some point. If you were a predator and saw a free meal, you would take it. Similarly, if you saw live prey, you would also go for it. T-Rex might have done the same, like modern lions and bears, which hunt when they can, but also scavenge when necessary. The debate over whether T-Rex was a predator, a scavenger, or both is ongoing. Scientists on both sides present strong arguments based on the evidence. Some argue that its physical traits and fossil evidence strongly support active hunting, while others focus on its potential scavenging behavior. What we do know is that T-Rex was a highly adaptable and successful species, capable of both hunting and scavenging to survive. This dual strategy might have given it an edge in the competitive ecosystems of the Lake Cretaceous. By not being just one or the other, T-Rex could use a wider range of food resources, increasing its chances of survival. While the debate continues, one thing is certain. The Tyrannosaurus rex remains one of the most fascinating and mysterious creatures in the prehistoric world. Its adaptations and behaviors make it a subject of endless intrigue and study. What do you think? Was T-Rex a fearsome predator, a scavenger, or both? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more prehistoric adventures. If you want to learn even more about T-Rex and its relatives, Check out the link to my free Tyrannosaurs Galore magazine in the pinned comments. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more, check out this video. I'll see you on the next adventure. Bye bye.